everyone and welcome back to my channel I'm super excited for this video because I know that I researched this over and over and over again before Robbie and I went out shopping so it's just like the beginning of December but Robbie and I actually did our shopping a couple weeks ago I think I was so excited plus I wanted to get everything done so that it was ready to go I got all my Christmas shopping done in November but I felt like this was the hardest person she, Avery, our eight month old, or she's seven months old now, she will be eight months old whenever Christmas hits. Our eight month old was the hardest to shop for. And I don't know if it was because I'd never had an eight month old before. I don't know if it was because I was just like, I want it to be the most perfect Christmas for her, but I felt like she was the hardest person to shop for. So with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and get started and show you all the things that we got her. In our family, when I was growing up, Santa would buy bigger gifts and my parents would um, provide smaller gifts. However, Avery's not even going to be a year old. She's not going to remember any of this, so I probably won't wrap any of it. It's probably all going to go under the tree as a Santa gift. Santa also does not wrap in our household. So let me grab my coffee and then let's get started. <laughs> okay, so I'm drinking a Carmelo from our local coffee shop called On the Grind. They're so delicious and I've been living for them lately. Okay, so I'm going to try and leave all prices for every single item up in the right hand corner. Everything with the exception of one thing that I don't even have to show is from Target. We spent one date night evening, we went to the movies and then Robbie and I went to Target and got all of our shopping done except for that one item. I will explain that item and leave a picture up of it at the end so you can see it. But I'm just gonna go ahead and get started with books. We love books. Avery, she's not to the stage where she wants to like sit there and listen to a book but we're working really hard on that. Robbie is an avid reader, I'm an avid reader. Um, so we want her to love to read. We want, we want to raise a reader. So I had heard really cute things about this series. This is called Never Touch a Shark. I think there's also like Never Touch a Porcupine, Never Touch a Unicorn. This is the only one that they had at Target though. So we made sure to pick it up. It is super cute. It's got lots of textures in it so she can go in and she likes to do that. Like she scratches on all of our furniture and she always wants to feel things. So this is nice because it's got a bunch of textures for her to feel. Um, so it's got like a shark, an octopus with the little tentacles, seahorse, a uh, puffer fish, and a turtle. So I know that she'll enjoy this one because it's got lots of sensory things to do. We also bought her The Kissing Hand or A Kissing Hand for Chester Raccoon by Audrey Penn. This is a book that I can remember my mom reading to me when I was younger. And so they had it in the smaller board book version and I wanted to make sure that we got that for her. But if you've never read the book, it's basically about a little um, raccoon who's scared. I think he's gonna go to school. Yeah, he's going to school and so she kisses his hand and tells him that whenever he misses her, he can put his hand up to his cheek and then he'll um, remember her love or something like that. But I can remember my mom reading this to me and hearing this in school when I was younger. So I wanted to get her that one. This one Robbie picked out and it's just, it's called the Manhattan toy. It's called a squish. It's an activity toy. Um, and it just has lots of like ropes and balls that she can move up and down. Just something for her to play with. You can make it into long shapes. You can make it into flat shapes. This will be perfect for like the car rides when she just doesn't want to take a nap and she's bored. She can play with this and I think it will honestly keep her entertained for a while just because there's so many things going on. This she actually has in a smaller version at my mom's house and no, she doesn't have it here yet. So we bought her the big version just because she is getting to the size and the age where she'll start to pull up on things soon. So not that she's gonna be pulling up on this thing, but if she's standing up, she can be playing with all of the larger rings and work on getting them put on the top. You can also work on colors and something that she can play with for a long time. So as you can see on the back, the, like the little baby is standing up there. That's what I'm imagining <laughs> for when Avery's pulling up. Um, but it works on fine motor skills, gross motor skills, thinking skills. So I think most babies have this toy, whether it's the smaller version or the bigger version. But I figured she loves the one at my parents' house that is small. So we thought might as well get her a big one to go in her little play area upstairs at our house. Another thing that I think every baby has are these baby block sorters where it's got like the little toolbox looking thing. And then the different blocks have different shapes and they can put them in at the top. So we got this one for her so she could sort if she wanted to, but also just play with the blocks. You know, they make noise, they're colorful, they're fun, um, they drop into the bucket. So just another way to work on fine motor skills and start learning shapes and things like that, which I probably sound really ridiculous talking about this because an eight month old doesn't really know like shapes and colors. However, she does wave. So 
you never know you never know the things that she can do the other day was thanksgiving and we were sitting there th thanksgiving morning and i just said hi avery and i waved at her and she started waving back and i was like oh my gosh so then all day long i would tell her hi hi and she'll wave and she's starting to try and mimic the sounds that you make so she'll say hi and things like that so who knows but i'm excited to give her this because i think it'll be something fun for her to do it makes lots of noise so buying for a baby is hard because you don't know what their developmental stage is you don't want to buy something that's behind them developmentally or way too ahead of them developmentally but you can always use things as they grow up too and as they get older one thing that my husband and i are both musicians i'm a singer and he plays the trombone so we bought her a little xylophone to play with um, i'm sure she'll just absolutely love to chew on this right here we were visiting a friend the other day and they had one of these and avery could have cared less about couldn't have cared less she couldn't have cared less about the actual like music she just wanted to gnaw on the stick so this will be fun for her just to play with it's also on wheels so she can pull it when she starts to walk and all that stuff this says 12 months and up but obviously like i said you can buy things that are a little older and just know that they can grow into them this i thought was really neat there's a girl that i watch on youtube her name is kayla buell if you are a mom and you are looking she has all kinds of really good things how to teach your one-year-old to talk Christmas gift ideas, um, baby led weaning ideas. She's just awesome. I love to watch her. And so her almost three year old is like a genius. And she always talks about the things that she bought her when she was younger and how she would play with her. And one of the things that she talked about was buying blocks, like building blocks so they can play with and find motor skills. Um, so we found this set that comes with blocks. It comes with animals and it also comes with like different sized textured balls so that she could play with them. Um, and so I thought that would be a, a lot of fun for her. And also she can just put it in her mouth if she wants to. She has four teeth about to pop her fifth and then sixth tooth because her canines are coming in. So she's always gnawing on something. Like I said, I think this will be perfect to put in her play area upstairs. Little things that she can play with by herself, but also we can help her build and all kinds of stuff. So this is actually like zero plus month. So it doesn't really have like a, a preferred age, I guess you could say. Okay, y'all are going to think of that I am crazy for this one. Maybe, maybe not. When I was born, I was born in June. My first Christmas was six months later, obviously. And um, my mom and dad bought me a baby doll. And I still have that baby doll. Actually, it's in Avery's room right now. And that baby doll has followed me everywhere. That sounds really creepy. I, like, I have taken that. I took her to college. That's kind of embarrassing. Um, and we still have her. And she's in Avery's room right now. And she's getting kind of old and fragile. And I thought, how cool would it be if I could give Avery her own little baby doll that she could carry around? Obviously, she's not going to, like, mother it and rock it. But, you know, just something that she can carry around and have would be really, really cute and really, really sweet. So, we got her the perfectly cute My Sweet Baby baby doll. She's blonde. She has blue eyes. She comes with a little passy on top. Avery loves her passy. So, I'm sure she'll have fun at some age putting the passy in the baby's mouth. And then one day when Robbie and I are pregnant... Well, when I'm pregnant, not when Robbie's pregnant. One day when we have our second one, it's something that we can say like, mommy has a baby in her belly, like your baby doll, that kind of thing. So this is something that is probably really not on anybody's what you'd buy an eight month, eight month old list, but I thought it was super sweet because I had one when I was little. Okay, so the last thing that I got, like I said, I did a ton of research. I watched videos, I did Facebook posts, I asked on Instagram. And one of the biggest things that I got and one of the most like commonly said things was a little jungle gym and if you're like me i had never seen them before or if you had said jungle gym to me this is not what i would have thought of but this is actually what it's called uh, i think it's called toddler jungle gym on amazon i don't know what the brand is but like i said i'm going to leave it right here on the screen and this is going to go in her little play area upstairs my mom is actually buying her like a little play gate area where i can gate off so she can't fall down the stairs we had somebody fall down the stairs at our house one time when I was younger and it was terrifying. And just the thought of Avery tumbling down the stairs oh, could give me nightmares. So we're going to have this little play gate upstairs so that I can block off the stairs and she can have a good area to play, but also not get into like my sewing stuff or the Etsy shop or things that are dangerous for her. And we can put all of her toys in there for her to play with. So this thing is just like a little jungle gym, a little foam jungle gym that she can climb all over. She's not crawling just yet, but man, she is trying so hard. But if you've watched any of our vlogs before or you've heard me talk about it, Avery is a very, very busy child. Even at seven months old, she is 
wild like always wanting to move always looking like what can i get into what can i get into so i think having like a little play area with a little foam climbing things will be really really good for her so i think that one retails i'll put the exact price up above but i think it retails for about 150 dollars um, and you can add on to it too. So should she really like it and want to add on to it later on or we move to a house that has bigger space, we can, you know, add on to it then for our future children. So yeah, it seems like a whole lot. It really does. But I know that with babies, it's good to have several different things for them to play with in case they get bored, especially if your name is Avery Madeline Sarvis because you are so busy and so wild child all the time. But that is it. That is what we are getting Avery for Christmas this year. This was a lot of fun to do, like research and buy her toys. And um, I can't wait to do like a what I got my one-year-old for her birthday. And then what I got my 18-month-old or 19-month-old or 20-month-old? 20-month-old for her, you know, for Christmas. So this has been a lot of fun. But I want to thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new here, I put out all kinds of content. Obviously, mommy content cleaning, cooking, all kinds of stuff on this channel. And if any of that sounds interesting to you, we'd love to have you join us. We're currently in the middle of Vlogmas or actually probably in the beginning parts of Vlogmas. But I wanna thank you guys for tuning into this video at least. And we hope that you'll stick around for a couple more. Until next time, I love you all and God bless ya. Hold up, I am on my way. I'm in motion. Let's go to the ocean. Yeah, let's go outside. can hang out on the beach without freezing yeah isn't that amazing